Hello everyone, it's Phil here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna uh, do a little review, but also a tutorial on a quite interesting uh, solution to blast the 504 MIB storage capacity limit of old computers. Um, it's the Easy Drive version 9.03W, and I believe the W stands for the Western Digital Edition. However, I found that this version works with Seagate drives and compact flash drives, so um, just give it a shot. It should work with other drives, and maybe it works for you as well. So, yes, this is all about uh, working with really old vintage computers, and I've got one of those. It's an Acer OEM 486 uh, computer and really it's it's a bit too old uh, for my taste usually I like working with something a bit newer but for this video it's perfect because it's got a very old bias um, which supports only uh, hard drives up to 504 MIB I'm gonna try out a few hard drives I've got a Seagate 80 gigabyte a Western Digital 20 gigabyte but of course, I'm also using a very classic solution, the compact flash card. Um, I'm gonna use a four gigabyte model in this video. And then my favorite, I'm using the, uh, the solution that I use in a lot of my videos, which is a SATA hard drive in combination with C tools, where I enable a 32 gigabyte capacity limit and then a SATA to IDE adapter. So we're gonna have a look at, well, do all these solutions work? Um, but before I start, I actually tried installing uh, the, I started with the Seagate hard drive, the uh, 80 gigabyte. Um, I tried to install uh, partition and, 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 and format it uh, straight without any easy drive software. And as you can see, 504 MIB was the uh, capacity limit that I reached. Now to get started, you need to create a easy drive boot disk and it's actually quite straightforward I've got the uh, installation file on my website just download it on a floppy drive or on any computer that has MS-DOS uh, on it should even work in Windows 95, 95 and 98 uh, from, from a command prompt and you basically you can put it uh, you can put it on the same floppy and it'll just override itself it's not a problem so you just put it on a floppy run the executable and it will create the installation uh, floppy, it's boot floppy. The next step is to prepare the BIOS and here I'm just gonna refer to the help section of the program. It talks about three options. The first being leaving it uh, in, in auto detect and if you have uh, LBA mode to make sure that's enabled. The second option and that's what I'm going for is to configure the settings with uh, 1023 cylinders 16 heads and 63 sectors. And the third option, if you can't do option one and two, is to select the hard drive type number nine. And now we just insert the easy drive boot floppy and we just boot our computer from that disk. We just follow the uh, automatic uh, automatic installation, and depending on what hard drive you use, I ran into well, it's not really a glitch. Uh, it didn't affect anything. I just got an error message. So on the four gigabyte compact flash card, um, it proceeded to partition and format uh, the partitions. Um, it will ask you ask you to insert a uh, MS DOS or Windows ninety five boot disk because it needs to get the uh, boot information from that disk. I just used the uh, MS-DOS 6.22 disk. Um, so on the compact flash card, uh, everything went fine. It partitioned and formatted everything. On the hard drives, and that was on the uh, 80 gig Seagate, but also on the 20 gig uh, Western Digital, it throws an, an error, something to do with too many partitions, um, and it's unable to format. But just ignore it. Um, just continue as, as I show in the video. The only difference is that we need to manually format the partitions uh, from, uh, from MS-DOS. Oh, 
Okay, so now the important thing is that you boot from the hard drive now. So make sure you do not boot from a floppy disk because the EasyBIOS, uh, which does the hard drive translation, will load only when you boot it from the hard drive. And you get an option to boot from the floppy um, by holding down the control key. But the first time in the installation, it will actually pop up with a proper uh, a proper menu option because it, it kind of knows that well there's a high chance that you're going to install um, MS-DOS so just hit the A key uh, well first insert your MS-DOS disk hit the A key um, and then just go to the command prompt of DOS and here we're just going to format the partitions I use the format slash uh, U command which is unconditional uh, formatting so it doesn't store any un unformatting information and I'm doing this for all four partitions so and I'm naming them retro underscore C retro underscore D E F and so on so basically we're gonna format our four two gigabyte uh, partitions And now that we've formatted all the partitions, we can proceed and install MS-DOS. So just uh, re reboot the machine, hold down the control key, uh, press A, and it'll boot from the boot floppy and then just install MS-DOS like you would on a normal computer. And that's it. So the MS-DOS installation is just uh, finishing off. Remove all the floppy disks and then we'll boot into our freshly set up MS-DOS. So we, we will have four partitions, each uh, two gigabyte. And that's pretty much uh, the maximum you can get in MS-DOS 6.22. Now there's actually a process to remove easy drive so uh, you can't do that with normal tools and the way to do it is you boot your easy drive uh, installation disk you boot from that uh, floppy and you just follow um, the command options that i'm showing in the video um, there are two steps in the first step you have to change a flag and in the second step you choose to uh, remove easy drive So what has worked and what hasn't worked? So uh, just to do a recap, I tried a 80 gigabyte uh, Seagate ID drive, a 20 gigabyte Western Digital ID drive, a four gigabyte compact flash card, and a 250 gigabyte Western Digital laptop SATA hard drive with uh, a 32 gigabyte capacity limitation uh, enabled through C tools and through a SATA to ID ID adapter. Um, the two RD hard drives and compact flash, they all worked. The only thing that didn't work uh, didn't work was the uh, SATA to RD adapter solution. So that's what I usually use in all my other machines. For some reason, um, it does not like to cooperate with Easy Drive. And I tried uh, both my SATA to RD adapters. I tried with the 32 gigabyte limit limitation uh, put in place and without, it made no difference. Uh, it basically hangs at the initialization st stage when you boot up the easy drive boot disk okay memory now uh, dynamic disk overlay tools are known to take up a little bit of uh, memory i i ran the mem slash c command nothing showed up so uh, just for you to compare I show, I'm showing you the convexes in the autoexec batch file and how much memory uh, 
was remaining in the system so you can compare it with your system um, that's pretty much all i can do uh, in terms of how much ram the easy drive takes up and that's it thanks for watching um, what do i think about easy drive i think it's actually pretty good it it does what it's supposed to do it works with a wide range of uh, hard drives and also compact flash cards um, it's pretty user friendly like the menu uh, they all make sense so pretty straightforward to use um, as always any questions just leave them down below in the comments hit the subscribe button um, hit the like button and that's it thanks for watching and see you again in one of my upcoming videos thank you